It's Saturday morning afternoon-ish. I don't know, it's 9.45, so morning still. I'm gonna throw together um, some cinnamon chocolate chip scones. This is a Sally's baking addiction recipe. And I'm gonna freeze all of them, but the one I'm gonna try today, obviously. And then that way we can have them on hand as a nice little treat when Valley gets here. <clears throat> this is a frozen stick of butter, which we'll talk about more in a minute. I've got some vanilla, brown sugar, sugar in the raw, that's just for sprinkling on top. Two things of baking soda, because this one's almost out. Cinnamon, an egg, chocolate chips. These are extra dark chocolate chips. I bought them a while ago um, with a coupon. We used these for our dinner plate chocolate chip cookies recently, and the cookies came out really weird. So I'm interested to see how these affect the scones. We'll see if that, um, if they have a problem. And then we have some flour. So let's get it. So tonight's dinner is the chicken and sun-dried tomato pasta. It's loosely based, oh buddy, loosely based on the half-baked harvest, half-baked harvest recipe that I've linked down below. But I don't have a whole jar of sun-dried tomatoes. I don't have shortcut pasta. There's a lot of stuff that I don't have. And so we're just gonna see how it turns out big feelings um because yeah you're supposed to cook the pasta in the sauce but I don't think that's gonna work for the pasta that I have so we're gonna pre-cook the pasta I think it'll be fine just need to watch the amount of liquid that I add so we'll start slow and then add more let's go look at all the ingredients that we're gonna use 
We have, sorry, it's so loud. He's watching the wiggles. Have half a jar of sun-dried tomatoes left. Some parsley. I actually don't think I even need parsley, but it's out. Half a lemon. Some garlic, a shallot, some butter. Some Parmesan cheese I grated for the last meal prep. Some chicken, heavy whipping cream, Dijon mustard, Italian seasoning, chili flakes, paprika, half a box of pasta, and some kale. So y'all, we will see how this goes. It is Sunday night and we are doing chili tonight. It is also T minus 15 days from when this baby is showing up. And so we're also doing a little bit of baby prep. I'm gonna double the chili recipe tonight so that I can freeze half of it. But then I also got five pounds of ground beef from Kroger. And so I'm gonna brown off all of it. I'm going to go ahead and brown it all off before I start making the chili. And then I'll use two portions of this to make the chili. And then I will individually package three portions. So roughly a pound each and have it in the freezer. And that way, if Bryson needs to whip up some tacos really quick or throw them in some spaghetti sauce or whatever, he will be able to do that. Or I can do that really easily. So let's jump into the rest of the ingredients we'll need for the chili and we'll go ahead and get this browning. So the ingredients for the rest of the chili include a double amount of everything. So we're gonna have some chili powder and cumin, some chili beans and some diced green chilies. <laughs> Zeke is very excited about chili. Garlic, two heads of onion or two onions, um, four cans of diced tomatoes, four cans of tomato sauce, four cans of tricolor beans, some diced chilies and adobo. I pre-portioned and ch chopped these, so I'm gonna just soak them in some warm water and then I'll be able to just throw them straight into the pot. And then we have our salt, sugar, and pepper. Oh, and um, some chicken stock that I made overnight last night. Coming down, coming down outside. 
rain. But we are nice and warm. It's rain. Safe inside, huh, bud? Uh -huh. Rain. Oh. <laughs> Anybody else with that belly so big that you just cover yourself in water when doing dishes? No? Just me? Just me out here looking like, I don't know, spilled a whole cup of water on myself? What do you do? Here are the ingredients for tonight's lo mein. So I have this one piece of chicken breast, which we're gonna make stretch because I got a bunch of vegetables. We're gonna use some baking soda, some pepper, some salt, some garlic, and some ginger to marinate this while we make up the um, sauce ingredients and while we prep all the veggies. So the first step is going to be thinly slicing this. Um, what you could do, which would make it really easy if you're gonna thinly slice meat, is to pop this in the freezer for like an hour, if you have the time, even 30 minutes. Just let it get a little bit cold and it's gonna maintain its integrity um, structurally while you slice it thin. It'll be a little hard to slice this because it's um, yeah, at fridge temperature, but it'll be okay. So for the sauce itself, we have some Chinese cooking wine, mirin, a little bit of oyster sauce, some hoisin sauce, regular soy sauce, dark soy sauce, which I've ripped the label off of. This is just a much more concentrated version of regular soy sauce. It has a good flavor, but it's really potent, so you don't need a ton of it. And a little bit of peanut butter. I have some of those lo mein noodles. And then veggie-wise, we're gonna use half of this red bell pepper, these two carrots, these, this bag of snow peas, a few of these mushrooms, and then some of these scallions, which I have just washed and sliced in half and double wrapped them in um, a paper towel and stored them in this plastic bag to keep them fresh. So let's get to working on the chicken and then we'll work on the veggies and then we'll do the sauce and then at that point, it'll be time to make dinner.
ingredients for dinner tonight. Super easy homemade pizza. Got some pizza dough that I prepped last week. I threw it in the freezer and um, just pulled it out, put it in the fridge overnight, and then thawed it at room temperature. You can also just totally thaw it on the counter for a few hours if you forget to pull it out. But I let it come to room temperature for about 30 minutes before I use it. Gonna have the base be barbecue sauce this time. I make my own pizza sauce with just like a can of tomato and um, of tomato sauce and some Italian seasoning. But we had this pizza combination last week and I was like, oh, I bet this would be so good with barbecue sauce as the base. So we're gonna try it today. We have a red onion, which I'm gonna thinly slice, some mild banana pepper rings, some bacon that I have cooked off that I will just um, dice up and throw on there. We have our pizza blend cheese, and I may shred some more Parmesan to add on top. I don't know yet at what I'll feel like doing. And then we're gonna use up the rest of this bag of turkey. So super easy dinner. Cook it at like 450, 500 degrees on the bottom rack for 10 to 15 minutes. And it is so fast, so good. It is tofu night in the nobles household. Had a little change up this week. Go into dinner with my women's group tomorrow. So I'm. this was Thursday's recipe, but I'm making it today. So simple actual ingredient, well, no, simple like solid ingredients. Got my tofu under here being pressed, trying to get all the extra water out. Bag of Brussels sprouts. Was going to use broccoli. Instead, I'm going to use Brussels sprouts. Did I say what this dish is? It's General Tso's tofu. Got some garlic that I'll need. Some of the last of those green onions. So I had one bunch. Used some of them for the stir fry. And now I'm using them in the tofu. And then here are all the ingredients for the sauce. We're going to marinate the tofu in a sauce. And then we're also going to have a stir fry sauce for the General Tso's. So we have our ginger paste, soy sauce, sesame oil, rice vinegar, some chili garlic sauce or sambal oblique, some olive oil, cornstarch to help the tofu get really crispy, and a little bit of maple syrup for sweetness. So let's jump in. I'm going to make the sauce while the tofu continues to be pressed, and then once that's pressed, I'll chop it up and stir it up and get the um, tofu in its marinade, let that sit for a second. And then we'll toss it and fry it, and hopefully this won't take too long. Oh, and I also have rice. It's already going in the rice cooker.
Friday night, so um, I did breakfast for dinner, and we've already eaten that and cleaned that up just really easy. Some scrambled eggs, some bacon, and just some toast. But now I am going to prep tomorrow's dinner because tomorrow is our Sabbath, and I don't want to cook. We're going to do no cooking tomorrow. So I'm going to prep um, Hawaiian chicken tacos, and they're going to go in the crock pot. So super easy, and then we'll just throw the crock pot's basin right in the dishwasher whenever we're done. But at the same time, I'm going to prep a freezer bag of all the same ingredients. I'm gonna put that in the freezer, and that way when I'm postpartum, we can just pull that out and pop that in the fridge, let that come to, or let that thaw, and then put it in the slow cooker. So let's jump in and I'll show you really fast how I'm gonna do that. So here are all of the ingredients that we're gonna use. I've already chopped up pineapple. I chopped up two pineapples and it's way more than we need. So I'm gonna portion off whatever's left into little bags for smoothies because pineapple, kale, mango, banana smoothies are so good. So we'll have those on hand. And then I have three and a half, three and a third pound almost of chicken thighs. It's still frozen, I forgot to take it out. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull out what I need for tomorrow and put them in this bowl with all of the ingredients. And then the other chicken thighs, I'm just gonna pop directly in a freezer bag and put the ingredients I need in there. And that'll be super easy. And then in the recipe itself, we'll use um, half a red onion. So we'll use a whole onion between the two, six cloves of garlic, this jalapeno, and a couple of seasonings, uh, some chili powder. I don't have cumin, so I'm gonna add some of this carne asada seasoning. It's really good, and it'll help give that taco flavor that cumin gives. Cumin, cumin, I don't know, however you say it. We're gonna add some sriracha, and it calls for yellow mustard, but we're Dijon mustard people, so this is what it's getting. And then tomorrow, I'm gonna top it with some shredded cabbage, just tossed in like a spicy ranch and some avocados. So I'm gonna go ahead and shred up half this cabbage for tomorrow. So, let's get to working. So me and my infinite wisdom, forgot to pull the chicken thighs up the freezer. And I was like, it'll be fine. I'll be able to break them apart. And then I don't have to worry about thawing things that are going back in the freezer and blah, blah, blah. It'll be fine. I can't get them apart. So I've wrapped them back up and I've put them back in the fridge to thaw a little bit overnight. So in the morning, um, I'll break them apart and prep the freezer bag and then um, prep the well, not prep. I'll put the other ones in the um, crock pot. So what I've done so far is I've made a bag for all the freezer ingredients. It has all the seasonings and stuff in there. And so I'm just going to throw the chicken thighs in that in the morning. And then I have made another um, container that has all the stuff for tomorrow's in it. So in the morning, I will just pull the chicken thighs out put all of this in the crock pot with some water and go for it. So yeah, I think that is where we're going to end this for tonight or for the week or for the meal plan. And we will see you in our next video. Thanks so much for joining me this week while we cook. See you next time. Bye people.